Let me know when you're ready. Check, check. Good. Okay. Adrian, right? Yes. Okay. What was your name? Joel. 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 That's right. Cool. Okay. I've been roaming around the Maker Fair and I happen to stop by the form booth. So with me right now is Adrian. How are you doing, Adrian? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm I'm a lot better now that I found the form booth. I how or I guess what's the right question? Why would someone choose a a resin style of printing over FDM? So basically what Formlab specializes in is doing really high resolution at a relatively low cost compared to like industrial printers. Um, so our, our layer heights are starting at 100 microns, so 0.1 millimeters, and going all the way down to 25 microns. Starting at 100 microns. So uh, many, many printers' highest resolution is our lowest, and we can go four times above that. Um, so basically, when you need like, serious dimensional accuracy, really high detail for like, you know, textured surfaces that wouldn't come out when you have you know, hot plastic being extruded, this is when you want to do this. Oh, I see. Well, it, it's a completely different method, obviously, than FDM printing. So what? once a piece is printed, is there anything special that I need to do to it? Sure. So uh, the first thing we do is we ship you a finished kit, which you can see. Can you see that? Can you see that, can you see that right there? OK. Tell me about that finished kit. OK, so the finished kit is two buckets, and you fill it with isopropyl alcohol. And what that does is when your print is done, you take it off the build platform and let it sit there, which dissolves the extra resin. There's just a little tiny bit left on the surface. And then when that's done, you take it out, the alcohol evaporates, and then you have your finished part. Um, there's support structures, which are very easy to remove. They're just tiny, tiny pinpoints. And so you take them off, and you can very easily sand this surface. And so you can't even see it after that. Oh, I see. OK, so it's. It's a material that you can still finish. You can sand, you can polish, you can paint. It's really nice in terms of finishing relative to like ABS or a PLA. Um, it's, it's a solid, homogenous plastic. There aren't, there aren't layers. It doesn't delaminate. It's really, really nice. Oh, that's OK. Not having the layers, that's interesting. Do, do you have a resin that cures in a flexible method? We do. I don't know if we have a sample part out here, um, but we just released our second version of flexible. Um, it's an Amazing elastomer, and uh, I think oh, it's right there. I don't know if we can get that. Hey, we can get it. We can get it. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. Which one is it? Go grab it. Go for it. So this is our flexible resin. You can see that this was printed as one piece straight on the build platform, and it's very, very flexible. Um, this is great for making uh, modeling grips. We have a, a part that a company did. Um, they're modeling a screwdriver handle, and they printed the base of it in a gray resin, and then printed the the flexible grip in this. And it, it feels like a you know professional injection molded like I don't know like silicone almost. Can I can I feel that? This is this is incredible. It's really cool. Wow. Okay, this is. Adrian, that's that's amazing. It does. It feels like a, a silicone rubber. It's really great. Um, that lightsaber over there was made by one of the guys on Tested, the web series. Have you seen them? Um, and he used this for the grip. Uh, okay, that makes sense. No, I, we know we know Sean. Sean's a good guy, man. Yeah. Uh, one final question for you, Adrian. With with the resin technology, what is what is something that you've printed that you really like? Um, I'm currently working on a full-scale R2-D2. Um, no way. Yes way. Uh, I'm hoping to have it ready for uh, New York Maker Fair this fall. Uh, so come check our booth in then. Um, basically, it's about 10 liters of resin. It's taken me many, many, many hours. Um, but again, this stuff paints and sands beautifully, so it looks like a movie-quality prop. Or what's done of it now. So I'm, I'm really excited to get that finished, and I'm hoping to really spread it around the internet. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I'll pay attention. I have your contact information, so once you get that out, I will be more than happy to share that out. Uh, thank you. Thank you for take, taking the time. I, I really appreciate that. I don't have a resin printer, but I would love one in my future, so um, I'll be in contact. Awesome. Uh, Adrian, it's common that I steal things with a high five. Could we? Thanks. Solid high five. Thanks, man.